Boys, what's up, man? I'm gonna bring you a new video here. We're playing CFM. This is the throwback CFM. Eagles with McNabb, Javon Curse, Dawkins, the boys, you know, 2004. Probably my favorite team ever. Uh, this is the last game of the regular season here. We're 13 and three. We're playing the Giants, who are 12 and four. Uh, we played him once already. We beat him. He's a pretty tough opponent, but I have to win this game to keep the division lead, I believe. I am guaranteed to be in the playoffs. 12 and four, he's not guaranteed to be in the playoffs. So definitely tough. Um, especially throwing that game against the Cowboys, the last ones you guys watched. In this video, I'm just going to talk you through it, man. I'm not going to edit this one as much. Try to switch up these CFM videos. Try to make them a little bit different, a little bit more in, in, in my mind, so to speak, and tell you guys what I see and what I think. Because, uh, you know, help you guys. All you guys are still mad ahead, still going on. Switch it up. I have so many CFM videos. And sometimes, you know, sometimes the games aren't that close. Sometimes the games aren't that exciting. So, you know, why make them edit in or something like that? I'm not streaming this game. I'm actually playing offline for the first time in forever, you know. So that's tough. Uh, and when I use these Eagles jerseys, I always like to wear the jerseys they wore actually as the Eagles as McNabb in them. So switch back to the 2004 jerseys. But, yeah, uh, there is a lot to Madden. A lot of you guys in CFM, a lot of you CFM commenters really have no idea what's going on. So hopefully I can show you guys the little things, the little intricacies that I do. Uh, I will try to walk you through absolutely everything. And a lot of this is second nature for me, doing adjustments, doing setups. Uh, everything is absolutely second nature. So if I miss anything, don't be afraid to ask any questions in the comments. Don't be afraid. There are no dumb questions. I know you guys come into my Twitch stream a lot, and I air out the chat when I ask dumb questions. Well, YouTube, I don't do that that much, you know. Especially you guys that are still watching Madden here in April. You guys obviously are Madden heads, and you guys are trying to get better. So, no dumb questions. Only dumb people, boys. But we get the ball first. You know, a lot of people pout when they get the ball first. For me, it's your chance to go up 7 nothing. I've always said if I can guarantee a 7 nothing, I would probably take that. I don't really set a lot of audibles, because this helps me be able to get out here and just... One audible is all you really need, I think. I always keep a run audible just in case I'm behind the clock, just in case I don't like what I do and, and I'm able to snap the ball. Now, I don't like the ball being in the middle of the field. It's hard to dictate what zones are going to do. So I want to run the ball. And, of course, that guy shed me instantly. Well, that was Lawrence Taylor, so God bless him. Westbrook made a miss. Juke made sure I got back to the left hash. Okay. So now he's playing DB fire. He's playing zone. He's playing high blitz. Number one thing I want to do here is I want to snap the ball as fast as I can so he can't do crazy adjustments. Obviously, he's probably blitzing off that right side. He manned up a couple people, but the less people he can man up, the better, the more I'm playing against stock zone. That's why I want to snap the ball as fast as I can. So that means you got to find plays with hot routes that you're going to do one hot route. This is one of the main plays I like to run is just streak this guy high low over here on the right side is one of my favorites, honestly. You have to make them guard the running back. You know, that's one of the main things you want to do. And you want to snap the ball fast so they can't do any cute adjustments, really. So we'll see how he decides to adjust it. Well, right there, he already already got him not blitzing as much. Boom. So he's already manning up the running back. So that means we're calming down the DB fire. That's what we want to do early. We don't want him just teeing off with five people. It's so hard to block in this game. So the more people you can, you know, that time he doesn't man up the running back. And you've got to take it. Especially when you have Westbrook that can make plays like that, you know. you got to make them guard the running back somehow. Then you can throw the ball down the field. So if you see, I've done one hot route and snapped the ball every single play so far. You know, every single play, one hot route, I'm snapping. There's no crazy adjustments. I'm not giving him time to do that. I'm not getting him time to be on his user. Bunch of different things going on. And you see he's taking time now. He even called a timeout. So he's probably switching defenses. Thank God. I don't want to play against Dollar. I don't want to. It's tough. But you're going, to run, you're going to find your one play you like the quick snap over and over. Mine is this same spot play because it already has a flat route. It has a corner route. All I need is a streak. And it has a flat route and a corner route on the other side. All I need is a streak. And I'm gone. I'm snapping the ball. One of the biggest differences between me and everybody else that runs tight, I quick snap the ball, man. I really do. I, I, I get that from Skimbo a lot. He, you know, he snaps the ball instantly all the time. All right, he's going to man covers, DB fire here, or uh, just straight man. This guy does not have pick artists right up the top. I'm just gonna throw I'm gonna lob the ball up here to uh TO or to Chad Lewis here. And if I motion this guy, look, the guy on TO is actually gonna unbump. So what we can do here is see how TO's bump. As soon as I motion this guy, he'll get unbumped. Snap the ball. Boom. Just like that. 
Now, right there, that's a high ball. Throw to the outside. That's what we did all the beginning of the year with uh, Parham, with Carmichael. You know, in that period of time when not everybody had uh, pick artists, and you were able to throw high balls one on one like that. So nice, nice drive. No incompletions. Made them switch defenses. What you want to do? We're up seven nothing. We get the ball. At, we get the ball to start. I'd love to be up seven nothing there. Our last time I played him, he ran bunch, you know, bunch to, you know, what was it, like bunch to, the typical bunch to tight type of audible and around. Right here, right out, straight and tight. Now, you have to know the difference between tight and tight offset. As I put my better corners here in the slot, as I have two, three inside shade, or two, one inside shade, two one steps, and Dexter win. Now I'm going to put Dexter win as my worst corner on the right side because if he's running tight, which he is, he's going to have that the play action play that I can't man up anyway. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that guy, as you see right there, in a deep blue because I can't man up that corner route anyway. You know, I don't even know who this receiver is. He's got a star though. Base first play, that's fine. Now, when you're on the hash mark, see, you got a lot of tight is different because I, I, I think I overthink tight in that, all right, if he's on the right hash, I got to guard the right, the short side because you can throw corner routes, your zones won't cover him at all. <clears throat> on the right side, the zones will cover him. The same thing, I'm actually going to, and then back this guy up just a little bit. Oh, I got I to I put Javon Curse on the other, see? See what I mean? To see, oh, he highballed it for no reason right there at all. He actually max protect right there. Max protect again. Ah, that's bad by me. I think I got to keep Dawkins on that guy. And I'm just thinking, like, what route combos he's using. It's actually motion block. Now here... I mean, that should be no way that should be caught on you, Lito, ever in my life. Ever. It's tough. Pretty much all zone here, boys. I got one man right now. I'm not worried about the wide side because I, I think my deep blue can cover that. You know, we'll see how it works, but a lot of high routes want to start pass committing. If he's going to motion block that guy every time, he's doing me a favor. I just, just, I just, I trust that I, my guys want to cover that on that side. I really do. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm stupid for that. But I just really trust that my guys want to cover that, that deep blue. You know, I don't have a knockout on them. So that's probably the, the tough part about it. But he audibles the bunch. Just, I got to switch my defensive end here. I mean, that's nothing. Dawkins is all over that. The thing I don't like is when you get a... Uh... I love my defense here. I really do. That's a cloud, like, that's a cloud and a man, like, there's just no way that's just popped me right there, boys. I'm kind of really disappointed in that, that that popped me. Dawkins? Oh, my God, man. Right here, I love I love my red zone defense in that I have a, a, a yellow and, a, and a, a yellow and a flat over there, and I have and I got the right side. This guy's gonna be on a post this play easily. It's free. Should be a pick. Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh. Look 
Look at this. I gotta click on it. I gotta click on it faster. I just that ball. I mean, we got pick artists on Lito Shepard right there. We have a, a flat zone on 30 yards right there. We, I mean, boys. That's just bad. That that that's just that's terrible, man. I, I like it's just it just sucks, man. I don't even know like what to tell. I don't even know like as I click on. I, there's no way I should have to click onto that. I don't, I, I don't care. I, I really don't care. That was a terrible throw. A terrible throw. That was awful. Everything about that was just disgusting. I like my run blocking is like these guys move out of the way, but we just wanted to get on that hash mark. That that's just like I, I like I don't even know why why I play this and put any stress into this that you could do that pass with no no regard here. That that's just like same thing. He man he guarded running back himself that time so. Second quarter, seven for seven. I should have an interception. Like, <laughs> just like, oh man, I. All right, this is what it is. How could like you can't even really get mad about stuff like that, for real, for real. But like I said, everything's going good. It looks like he's changing his personnel for another defense again. You know. Maybe three three five, yeah, nickel normal again. I don't even know what I call what what defense I'm in here. I mean, I don't know who he has right there. Inside shade pick artist on Mark Collins. We're gonna slide left. My running back should pick up this defensive end unless he's an idiot. I'm gonna try to lob the TO, honestly, but just depends. That's always free, boys. That corner route until you get inside the thirty five yard line. Now I can't throw that corner out, so that's dead, as the kids say in the streets. I'm gonna switch To around so he can't. He can't put his best corner against To. I can't have that all the time. You know, I guess he. Wow, he just like went with him. Maybe he's got like. This guy got pick artist. No, he just got inside shade. Egg. Oh my goodness, Chad Lewis. How do we not catch that? Alright, he's gonna guard the running back here. We're gonna flip real quick and try to get him out of out of sorts. He's got the running back. Slant is just wide open. Everybody was just wide open right there. Freddie Mitchell inside the ten. All right, we got to look for T.O. here. We're going to put T.O. back in the slot. Interesting to see what he runs here. This is zone. You can tell by how the safeties are so far back, I think. That's my first read. So, But we run this thing. He's using a linebacker, so he's not blitzing if he's using a linebacker instead of the safety, I don't think. We're looking for T.O. We're looking for Chad Lewis here. course we get shuttered by two people that's always amazingly fun boys isn't it we would have had the playmaker back coming across the middle but Lawrence Taylor goes against two people pass rushing it's always fun right look at them look at how many assholes are just staring god man I just hate that I, this is back to he's back to he's back to blitzing I don't know who he's going to have on the running back right now I don't want him to run quarters, so I'm going to no huddle. Yep, he used the timeout. See, that's smart. I didn't want him running zone quarters or uh, whatchamacallit, so I called timeout. That way he, he was stuck in the man coverage. But he called timeout, so I'll take that trade. He's back in quarters. This is max coverage right here, like it was the first play. It's max coverage, I think. So we're looking for T.O., honestly. I mean, dude, just terrible, man. I got to kick this field goal. That's my fault, man. It's just, I should have stayed on the slant. I had T.O. late. I know I did. 
That's just, I mean, it's just, this game just sucks, man. It really does suck. Three of my five offensive linemen are literally staring at a spy. This sucks, man. That's the thing, though. When you have a pass rush ability like Lawrence Taylor, you never get weak boxed. And sometimes when you only rush two people and you don't have a pass rush ability, your guys will get what I call weak boxed and where they'll never pass rush. They'll never beat their man. But because you have an ability, now that guy will never stop pass rushing. Just miserable, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. It's just miserable. I'm going to dive doing adjustments right there, dude. Just, oh, my God. I really want to put... See, this guy is motion blocking that guy every play, so I might as well put Sheldon over here and put Wynn as the guy that is on the bum, really. There's no timeouts right now, so. So it's just questionable running the ball. You can do that all day in the huddle. Runs the ball again. Like, come on, man! <laughs> He runs the ball again. I'm backing up my corner and he's going to motion block that guy. I don't even need anybody on him. Nothing's open here. He's just going to high ball in a prayer. Like that's just miserable, man. Come on. That's what I mean. That's why I like those couple of them CFM games. Like when those dudes are actually like. Got somebody on a running back here. I don't know if I need somebody on a running back here, but I mean that is a like I, I just don't understand how this. Oh, I know why. Fuck. Like how awful is this? How awful is this game, dude? How awful is it? My dudes were on thirty on that play. Like, seriously, boys, like, how awful is this game? Yeah, we got... He's got a third down here, so he knows that if I blitz, man, which I will right here. He's going to know that I'm blitzing because I don't care if he gets more yards, honestly. Thank you. Intentional grounding, run 10 seconds off the clock, game. For, uh, no time off the clock. He's able to kick a field goal. Now 39, 49, 50, 56-yard field goal here. Just stupid. You should get punished for that, too. Miss it. Just an idiot move. Just an absolute moron. But, you know, no big deal. It's Madden. You can't get away with stuff like that, you know. I don't know if that's a penalty in real life. If you run an intentional grounding with a running clock, does it run the whole clock out, or how does that work? Oh, we're getting some love here. How does that work, you know? I don't know the rules. I'm not, you know, Dean Stellator. It's not me. 
I feel fine. I, I honestly feel great. Um, I feel like we're going to get an interception the way he's chucking the ball. I feel like we got good coverage. We got a good plan. I feel great. Stop the run a little bit better. What I mean by that is, like, you know, you're never going to stop the run. If you don't commit to stopping the run, you're not going to stop it for negative yards. But, you know, we're going to catch a pick the way he's throwing the ball around, honestly. In fact, I think he uh, – I, I love when he goes to bunch. I, I absolutely love when he goes to bunch. I don't think he has anything for me in bunch. I'm going to put it – I really don't. I, I like everything about this right now. You know, everybody's bagged. Throw the ball away. I love it. When he goes to bunch, he don't got a prayer when he goes to bunch. He, he really doesn't have a prayer anyway. We're going to get a pick. I just know it. God, it feels good. You saw that little bait. Like I went to, I went to that other side. Oh my God! He just threw right at dog. Just like I don't know what boys I don't know I don't know why am I am I losing my mind? I'm gonna keep that guy manned up until he puts a cursor over him. That guy 87, he's been motion blocking. So I'm gonna, oh, he's gonna actually audible a bunch here. This is, this is actually amazing. I mean, it, uh, it's gonna flip it. This is okay. It's just gonna be a corner route here. We got, we got stuff for the corner route. No, we don't. He's, he's on him. He's on him. If I had a knockout, maybe we'd have a better shot. But, you know, I'm cool with having pick artists on my guys right now. You know. Hawkins is right there. Just highball it over his head, though. Oh, my God. I mean, it's just, I just, like, you're all over him, and then you bump into him. Like, the luckiness that you get that my guy gets bumped and your guy doesn't. All in all, man, I am beyond fine right now with my defense. Nothing. I'm going to put 30s on now from the 20-yard line. Man, I, I like you didn't. Oh my god, like this is a joke, it's a joke right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Oh. He catches the ball mid-tackle and breaks the tackle. He just throws the running back without looking. Catches the ball mid-tackle. Just insane, man. Oh, man, what big play did we give up? That's what I think about it after a drive. Like, what big play did we give up on that drive? Big play. That one corner route on fourth down. I knew it was a corner route. I put a deep blue, but I, it just he, he was in the middle of the field, and the deep blue still got ran off by so many yards. I can't even think about, like, what's the next big play that I gave up. I really don't even know. I'm cool. Man coverage. He's got the running back here. He 
he's got the running back again. Should be a free catch here to our boy uh, Chad Lewis, honestly. Or not, he's just so bagged. Come on, dude. Like, you gotta get a little bit open than that. I wanna throw a T.O. here, I really do. He just manned up the running back with that guy, so... We should be free here. And, oh my God, man! I this game, I just absolutely, I just, I just. It, if you see the dumb shit that happens, somehow Lawrence Taylor is the one that comes free. Like, come on now, boys. He's not blitzing anybody here. Straight zone or match. This is why threat detectors trash. That's who he's using. It could be just straight man to man. Feet, nice. Yeah, he went the match, but I I canceled the match by motioning four people on one side. I never want to play against match. You don't know what's going to happen. Now he's back to man to man. LJ Smith is a free catch here. Break a tackle for me, please. Are we just? We don't even have T.O. in the game right here. That's always a tough scene, huh, boys? Always. But we have L.J. Smith, or he drops the ball at his face. Okay, that's nice. All right, it's just man coverage. He's got the running back. How's he going to guard the run? He manned up that guy on the running back. Now I'm going to block. He's only blitzing so many people. We're going to slide left. ID this guy. We should be free to get somebody open here. We really should. Could be Freddie Mitchell, honestly. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's what Threat Detector does. You know, Threat Detector is the most broken thing in this game. You will never get an argument from me. It is the most broken thing in this game. All right, this is coverage. This is coverage every day of the week. You can tell you can just tell by how the safeties are not that close. Slide left and we're gonna ID right. We're actually looking for Freddie Mitchell here. Should be able to get him. I like this play here. TO inside the touchdown? Woo hoo hoo hoo! TO yeah, you can tell when they're playing cover zero, the safeties are like eight yards depth. When they're playing zone, they're going to be at 14 to 15 yards depth. You know, it's pretty much in the inside the 10 rule here. This is where I would 100% run commit on first down here. I would, especially if someone comes out in this, which I'm going to do. I'm going to put my running back on aggressive here. I'm going to run stretch. The only acceptable run in this game is stretch. You know, I got the left looks free. You know, we're gonna motion TO, see if he follows. He does, and we get a we get a numbers advantage to the left. We gotta take it. Somehow that dude just sheds instantly. Like I I, I, I do I hate do I just suck at running? Did I just like what the hell how does that even close to close to boxed? How boys? How? Did somebody just shed me instant I just had to get shedded. I hit no turbo, no nothing. Just follow my blocks right in the end zone. Again, we're going to just we're gonna go left. Hopefully, as soon as I'm ready to get this guy to go all the way across here. We got so much numbers. Thank you. I don't know why his man is going across the field. I really don't, but it happened. And I should have the ball last, dude. If I kick you the ball deep and you can milk five minutes off the clock, you're a lord. You know, some people would onside kick here. I don't think this guy's that good to onside kick. I really don't. And that's not like even like, you know, I feel like I can I can stop him. I just I don't feel like I'm super getting dotted. I really don't. And you always get a feel for that if during a game. Is this guy frying me? Am I hopeless? Am I? And I felt that way before, but, I mean, not against this guy. Not in the least. 
I mean, knowing that, he's probably going to try to run the first play here. And he just throws the ball up. Like, what in the world? Am I drunk? Am I drunk, boys? Am I drunk? That's why I'm like, like we will get an interception. Just play strong. I'm going to keep playing two men under. Nothing cute, nothing fancy here. Gun tight. I don't want him to get a, a free run here. I really don't. If he motion block his good wide receiver, that's kind of nuts. Just all over it. Another just high ball prayer, dude. Just a high ball prayer. 11 for 23. This dude. All right, he's going to go back to that his his number one money play, which is the uh, the corner route over here on the left, the, the double corner route or so. Uh, I, I don't have a guy on 87. I need to man him up because he's not going to motion block here. I'm just going to guard the middle of the field here. Because he has, he has his good tackle on one-on-one -on -one with my man here. I just bumped the hell out this guy. And he throws that. Like, dog, thank you. Dropped. Oh, my God, boys. Am I like, I, 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 I just, the other guy was going to be wide open, and he threw that one. I, and a lot of times, like, when, I'm, when, when a play is going through my head, right, it's like, okay. All right, now I got the right guy on the right side here. It's like there's no way he throws that pass is what I'd be thinking to myself, you know. But he threw that, so, you know. He's not going to put the running back out. He needs the running back to help him block here. I got the middle of the field. I'm actually going to put this guy here in the middle. I got any, any route coming over the middle. None of them are going over the middle. Everything is absolutely bagged. There's just no way. I'm not swatting or nothing. Thank you. Of course, go for the pick. That's what I need, Dawkins. That's why you got pick artists, boys, huh? Damn, that's I get the all right. We can run the clock now. Everything was absolutely bagged. There we go. That's why you don't want side kick. Now I could play the milk this game, but I mean, if I have a touchdown, I'll take a touchdown. Uh, the milk is not in my mind at all right now. I mean, if I was playing, you know, I guess it would be. And with forty second play clock, it's not the hardest thing to do here. And, of course, I, I have to slide protect. I just have to. As bad as this game is, I have to slide protect because they, they can't block five people. He's manning up the – like, it's just it's just the easiest thing in the world. Slide left, ID this way. What's this guy got? Inside shade on, on Chad Lewis, but no knockout, so – I'm just, I'm just, I'm impatient, man. I really am. Slide left. I got my good corner route on the left side here. Oh, he's actually going to try to not. Well done. Beautiful. Stay in bounds. Run some clock. It's beautiful. You see he had, his, he had his inside shade on the left side, on the right side for that corner route, so I just flipped the play. And I flipped my running back, and they think that, you know. There we go. That's what I want you to do. Break that tackle. Break another one. There we go. Now we're in field goal range. Now I'm going to run the ball here. We're going to take it to the two-minute warning. You know. I like a counter against this, but he's blitzing so many people. Maybe inside zone, just straight inside zone will work better. We'll flip this way because obviously there's less people on the right side than there is on the left side. I mean, we can get some good blocking. And right here, this will take it to two-minute warning if he doesn't call time. So much for good blocking, huh, boys? Literally three people instant shedded. That's always awesome when you play this game. It's just, just amazingly fun, this game I played, man, for real. Same thing, same thing, same thing. I, I, I don't know if this is straight, if this is man, though. I really think he might have bluffed us here. Yep. But we'll take this underneath. Get a couple, stay in bounds. Hopefully he uses his other timeout. That's fine. The first down ends the game here now because he used his timeouts. Let's see what he does here. 
Um, I'm going to call the same play. Same spot. It has a good corner out that gets open against man. This is straight zone. This might be match. We're looking for Chad Lewis here. We're going to slide left. We're going to ID this guy. We're looking for Chad Lewis. And I don't know why, and it's, it's, it's completely my fault, but because I ID'd, now my delay route didn't go out. My ID, my delay route was the one that blocked the defensive end, which I never want. Like, I never want that to happen. But that's okay. Fourth down, we get this, we win the game. If not, we might lose. Straight man coverage. I'm not really in love with what I got on the field here. When in doubt, boys, you just go to slants. I don't know. Maybe it's not man coverage. I honestly couldn't tell you who he's using right now. It is. T.O. Good game. Boom! It was straight man. He came out in man coverage. He put somebody on the running back, another zone. We went with T.O. He shaded up. He doesn't have knockouts. He has what I have in pick artist. He could have knocked that ball out. He could have undercut him, but he beat him so pause. He just ran around so well. One on one with T.O. That's why we have him. So we got set we got two minutes left. He's got one timeout. The two minute warning. I, I'm not going to say our defense has been good, but we haven't given up a big play to the point where, to a point where I could watch him call it, till I can, uh, so I can be worried. Like, what am I? What are my zones on? My zones are on thirty. I'm gonna go regular for now. Javon Curse is on the left. Pay attention to that. He could he could run. If you guys remember that one two minute drive he had in the first half, he ran the ball a lot. He's going to motion block. He put his cursor on, on Miller. So I'm going to put a flat zone, back him up. He's going to motion in here. He's doing a lot of hot routes. So. Beautiful. Javon Curse got him. Let's go. He's going to no huddle. Might take it to two-minute warning. It will. That's beautiful. Make sure my match is turned off sometimes. I need to put a quarter sometimes because he definitely had a streak down the middle that I didn't really like that he got. Same thing here, man. He just beat. He just actually ran by that guy, and that's ah out of bounds. Ha ha! Loser. He max protecting against a three man rush. Now we just gotta rush four people here, man. In fact, we're gonna blitz that guy too. Just blitz them all, man. Of course, he just throws over top of it one step. That's that's awesome, man. Good, good, good job, Lito. Good, good. Cut. I don't know how you got beat off the press that bad. Let me notice what we got. Please throw the ball away. Thank you. God, you're the, the worst. Just two corners and two streaks. Come on. I almost want to put Lito on the left there to guard that corner route, but I don't even think a one step would do it right there, honestly. Just quick snap bench, you can have that. That's out of bounds anyway. Bad feet. Come on. One thirteen he needs a touchdown. Can have it. Tackle him and bounce. That's huge. Clark's going to run. He's going to no huddle. He flipped. He flipped his guard or his. Uh... It's fine. I mean, do you need a touchdown? Not two yards, bro. Intentional grounding. Swat this back in. Do it. Oh! Intentional grounding for the boys. I don't know. All right. Like I said, man, we're, I am, I'm actually going to put my flat zones on like 25 right now. That way when I put one, he's going to keep dropping back there. You know, we're going to keep putting a deep blue on this right side. I mean, 
and this is just the worst offense I've ever seen executed. Really, third and ten. Same thing, we're going to put this guy. Audible, when he audibles, just, just go like that, or just re-audible. And he caught that, and he's going to get out of bounds. This is absolutely miserable, man. I mean, this is just, at, like, boys... That is absolutely atrocious. All right, we're good here. Uh, he didn't switch his tackle, so we're... Inbounds. Oh my God! Come on, Sheldon. That's terrible. That's terrible. I might call timeout on this play. I might. Just like absolute, like he's not even like he. The dude is right in front of him. Like he's not even close. Like I, I, I just you got it, man. You got it. Just highball anything. Absolutely anything. You can highball absolutely anything in this game. Good play. I, I. All right, eight seconds. Let's see where he kicks the ball. This is just. This sucks, man. This game just sucks. In the end zone. All right, we have a shot. We have a shot at a field goal. Eight seconds we have a shot, depending on what play he runs here. Three deep? Okay. We have more than a shot then. I don't think this is man covers, though. I really think this is some type of zone here. All right. And we're going we're gonna to actually look for Greg Lewis on a, play, on a slant up the field here. Actually, oh my God, Lawrence Taylor. This is Lawrence Taylor. Good defense, man. Just this guy's as smart as a squirrel. Here we go. All right. If he... ah, this that pad. We have five incompletions. That's tough. Then we're in overtime. Hope you guys are liking this. Uh, we are 40 minutes on the video. I'm sorry. It's a good game. Honestly, it's a good game. Uh, the amount of passes he's thrown in the coverage compared to me are is just astronomically bad. But you know. I would never kick the ball in overtime. Honestly, I don't even know how this overtime works. As comp Seeing people are like mad at me, like, how does overtime work? I don't know. This is a regular season game. Like... In Mutt, I know how it works. Like, everybody gets a shot to score a touchdown, and you go, like, sudden death after that. In a regular season NFL, I think if I score a touchdown, the game is over. But if I kick it, I think. Now, you know. I've been known to be wrong. But. All right, this is zone. This is, without a doubt, just straight zone. We are in the middle of the field, though. We're still going to slide left. ID back right. Nicely done. We're going to no huddle this and see what he does. Same thing. Uh, the reason why I motion these guys to this side, he, I think he just audible to press or something here. The reason I... 
I, I motion those or audible those guys over is because if he's running match, it, I won't be matched because if you guys see, I have four receivers on one side here. So he's in quarters, but he's not matching. I, I, I'm not calling. I'm, I'm going to call a timeout here, honestly. Yeah, it's called timeout. My boys are probably tired. I, I don't really like no huddle, and I didn't want to. I wanted him uncomfortable and stuck in that defense. That's why I no huddled. But the ball went right through Tio's hands. He Tio could have scored on that, honestly. But I don't like how tired no huddle gets you, and all of a sudden I can't do anything. I can't call a play or nothing. I don't like how tired no huddle gets you. It's it's like it's just not smart to no huddle. That's why I hate when no people no huddle. I think it's brain dead, you know. But I did it there for a reason. I wanted him to stuck in quarters. Rather than being in the whatchamacallit. Rather than him being in the uh, the connection to my peer has been lost. <laughs> Just like, what do you... Oh. <sighs> 